Hello everybody, welcome to Dak Man Productions and welcome to Conahay Real. Hope everybody had a good Christmas. So uh, this is my after Christmas video. And today I have a Lionel Legacy Conrail U30C. Now you'll notice that I didn't do an unboxing. Well there's a specific reason for that. <laughs> um not that I didn't have a story to tell, but um have you guys, I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard or have had uh, what's called uh, buyer's remorse. You buy something and it ends up being something that it wasn't you thought it was going to be or you got ripped off or whatever have you. And you're sorry that you even bought the, what you, whatever it was. So I've been suffering from what I would call seller's remorse. I actually had this locomotive in my collection. I ended up selling it probably about four or five years ago to uh, Richard Bernardin of Rail Fanning Adventures. Uh, and since then, I really haven't missed it that much, but then, you know, as my Conroe collection grew and grew, and it's like, why did I, why did I sell that? That's part of the Conroe collection that I had, and why would I... But I, as I think back, there was um, newer Legacy Conroe locomotives that I really wanted because this is a much older Legacy model. This is actually out of the Lionel 2007 catalog, so it's a very early Legacy model. They haven't produced this particular one since in the Conroe road name, so... Uh, I've seen Legacy Station was uh, selling it on eBay. There was like 17 watchers. So, you know, I, I'm like, you know what? Now's the perfect time. They said it's tested and stuff. There's been many YouTube channels that promoted Legacy Station. I loved it there. I said, you know what? It's a verified um, hobby shop by other YouTube channels. Uh, Holly talked about. And so I'm like, you know what, with 17 watchers, I'm just going to buy it now. And I did. So I bought it back <laughs> for my collection. So uh, we'll get this on the track and we'll talk about the, because I don't think when I had it back, you know, at that point in time, I don't think I did any technical data on it. And I don't think I talked about the prototypical version. And um, so we'll get this on the track and we'll talk about and we'll do a short train run. So here we have the Lionel Conrail Legacy U30C on the tracks. As I mentioned, it is from the Lionel 2007 Volume 2 catalog. So this is quite an older uh, Legacy unit. But this is when they came out with the Rail Sounds 5 system with the new Crew Talk dialogue that you could actually understand. Um, earlier, like the TMCC with crew talk, you really, it was just garbled uh, talking. You couldn't understand what it was saying. So this is a scale size Lionel U30C. And they were nicknamed the U-Boat from uh, Railroad Workers. The General Electric, or as I would call it, the Garbage Electric U30C, uh, is a six axle locomotive that was built from 1966 to 1976 with only 600 units being sold. And in case you couldn't tell, I'm not exactly a GE fan, so that might have been one of my motivations for selling it originally. But um, GE did make a couple good locomotives. Uh, the Dash 8 and Dash 9 were pretty, pretty dependable for what they were. But when I look at diesel locomotives, I look I don't look at them from a standpoint as a rail fan or their shape or if they're cool looking or whatever have you. I look at them as far as dependability, how they are to work on, if they're their parts interchangeability. So I look at it from a diesel mechanic side because that's what I am. I'm a diesel tech. So um yeah, I wasn't impressed with a lot of garbage electric locomotives the early years of them. So the only reason why customers were actually buying these uh, U30Cs is because EMD, which was the much better 
look and loaded back in the day as far as my opinion. The SD40s were so popular, they were on a huge backlog, so it's going to take a long time to get one if you ordered one, because it's a very popular locomotive. So, some railroads resorted to buying the U30C. Throughout its 10-year production span, the U30C was known for reliability issues, unfortunately, especially with its electrical system. Uh, GE actually produced a passenger version of this locomotive. Uh, the GE U30CG, only six were sold to uh, Santa Fe Railroad. Most U30Cs were retired due to mechanical electrical problems. GE did take some of these uh, U30Cs and then completely rebuilt them with a new designation of GE 30-S7R, R for rebuilt frame of traded in locomotive. In the later years, the rebuild frame was discontinued and a brand new frame would be used. We designated the locomotive as a GE C30-S7N, N meaning new frame. The final variation came from a discontinued frame of the Universal Series and instead using GE C40-8 kits. This new model also featured a microprocessor. The new GE designation was C30-S7NMP. The railroad that had the largest amount of them was the Burlington Northern, having 180, followed by Union Pacific, which had 150. Now, I know there's going to be people who didn't like my opinion and say, well, why, if you hate GE so much, why would you buy it back? And it's like, well, it's, it's a piece of history. And, you know, it is uh, a piece, of, I think a cool piece to add to the collection. And uh, I should have just kept it originally. So, Conrail U30C number 6837 is a real prototypical locomotive. Here is a picture of one. Unfortunately, uh, at the end of its uh, career at the Rutherford Yard. And here it's gone for scrap. Performance wise, they were just big, powerless pigs. And if you don't believe me, you can just ask a con ex Conroe engineer. I know I have like three or four ex Conroe engineers that do watch my channel, and I'm pretty sure they will back me up on that. I talked to a couple of ex Conroe engineers, and they said they absolutely hated it if somebody put a U-boat in the lead of a train. But here on Conway Rail, um, you know, we're going to go ahead and run it, and it will be, it will live on here, and uh, I'll try to keep it this time around. <laughs> so let's uh, move forward with the run.
Now you'll notice what's cool about this early legacy and the uh, actually the, also the later TMCC locomotives called the road name out on the side of the cab like that and then eventually uh, Lionel phased doing that out. So I'm glad to have this back in the collection even though I'm not a GE fan or garbage electric fan uh, but you know it's I gotta have it for my collection it's uh, it's just you know one of the things that uh, even though you're not a fan of something it's like well it's still Conrail I gotta have it it's it's a sickness I guess you could say and um, I, I sort of kicked myself in the butt later on for selling it but now this time around uh, it's here to stay so you notice I have not been adding switchers to my Conroe collection. And, you know, I'm more or less interested in what they call the road locomotives, uh, such as the, you know, the SD40, SD40 S2, the GP30, 35. I mean, the switchers are okay. I mean, I probably could use one for switching over here in my uh, freight depot, but... We'll see as time goes on if uh, I'll go back and buy them. It seems like they're plentiful still, even right now they're still available brand new. Uh, there's a couple different ones that were uh, made in the Conroe road name. So we'll uh, see what happens after that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video and uh, we'll catch you guys trackside. Catch you later. Bye.